Hey friends, I'm your host B7, and I'd like to warmly welcome you to this new series that I'm starting, where in each episode I'll be covering one board game with an overview, how to play, and a review. Today, we're looking at Tangram City. This is a city building game, designed by Owe Rosenberg, illustrated by Makoto Takami, and is published by Korea Board Games. The game can be played by 1 to 5 players, takes around 30 minutes to play, and is for ages 8 and up. The players take on the role of prestigious city planners tasked by the queen to construct a harmonious urban landscape. The objective is to balance the human and natural realms by creating equal amounts of building, represented by black tiles, and park, represented by green tiles spaces. Let me teach you how the game is played, and I'll give you my final thoughts afterwards. This is how you set up the game. Pause the video to take a closer look if you'd like. The setup in this video is for one player. Each player will have their own city board along with a green and black marker. One set of city tiles, which include 23 tangram shaped tiles, which are double sided. One side is black and one side is green. And the players also place their victory point marker on the zero space of the point board. The game is played over 6 rounds, where in each round the players will place tangram shaped tiles on their city board which is in the form of a 7x7 grid. Each round there will be 4 cards dealt either face up or face down to the players or on the table. Each card depicts a certain tangram shape that the players have to place onto their, onto their boards. The 6th round will only include 3 cards. At the end of each round, the players may place one of their fountain tiles onto the board. At the end of each round, there will be a scoring phase. The players score points based on their city boards. The players will score for their largest rectangle or square, gaining one victory point per square. The players also adjust their green and black mar balance markers. For each green square or half green and half fountain, the players increase their green marker by one step. For each black square or half black and half fountain, the players increase their black marker by one step. At the end of the game and at the end of the sixth round, the players will score some extra points based on the following. If the player filled out their entire city board, they'll gain an additional 15 victory points. Each player checks the distance between their black and green balance markers. Depending on the distance between the two markers, Players receive additional bonus points. The player with the most victory points is the winner. Tangram City is a city building game designed by Owe Rosenberg. I'm a big fan of the designer and a big fan of puzzles, so I was really excited to try this one out. The theme and setting are incorporated into the game and gameplay very well. The game presents an intriguing challenge for players to balance the needs of urban development and natural preservation. The artwork in the game was great and very well illustrated. I really enjoyed all the colors of all of the components in this game, including the game box. They really stood out. The components used in the game were standard. The gameplay is enjoyable. I've had a good time playing this one. I've really enjoyed placing the tiles onto my city board and constructing my own city. As a puzzle lover, this game was a joy to play. What I really enjoyed the most about the gameplay is that the players have to balance out the green and black markers carefully. Those endgame bonus points are really crucial. Overall, Tangram City is a good city building game that is worth trying out, especially for fans of the designer or puzzle games. The game offered some level of challenge on how to balance your green and black markers while trying to gain the most points by building your city. The game is not very complex and is a good entry level game to the genre. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you have any questions or you just want to talk, leave a comment down below and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. See you in the next episode.